What is up everybody? My name is James Neville Taylor and in this series we're going to go through 10 lessons I learned from the depths of despair. From suicide to success, 10 lessons that I learned from the depths of despair. And today we're going to talk about the power of persistence and not quitting because you never know how close you really are to success. So many people, they quit just before that breakthrough moment where they truly reach success. And it's so sad to see people who are that close to breaking through quit just at the last hurdle. It's like running a 400 meter race and just stopping at that 390 meter mark and not quite making it. It's so disheartening to see and so disappointing to see someone get so close and then just fail before the last hurdle. You see, the point where we're just about to make it, where we're just about to break through to that next level is usually the point of the most resistance. So a lot of people, they hit that wall and they don't break through, they just stop right at the point where it's most important to keep going. When I first started, there were lots of brick walls which I kept hitting, lots of times where I felt that I wasn't making any traction, that I wasn't getting anywhere, but I carried on, I pushed through and persevered and eventually got to where I wanted to be. Although I'm not exactly where I want to be now, I'm a lot further ahead than when I was when I first started. It's important to keep track of where you've been and how far you've come. A lot of us, we set unrealistic goals that we're not going to achieve for a long, long time. And then when we don't reach those goals at a certain point, it tends to put us off. So it's important to set small goals. It's also important to have really big goals, but you shouldn't just aim for that big goal. You should have little milestones in between to keep you going. It depends on how strong your desire is as well. If you have a really, really strong desire, then you may not need as, as many little milestones to keep you going. But if you have a tendency to quit and you don't have that much of a desire to change, then you're gonna to need to set yourself little milestones, little goals, and celebrate your little wins along the way. It's important for all of us to celebrate our little wins along the way. We shouldn't always be striving for that end goal because a lot of the time the journey is the best part. So I just wanted to discuss the importance of not quitting because you never know how close you are. No matter how disheartened you get, no matter how disappointed you feel, it's always important to keep pushing through because you're so close to that next level. And I really wanna see you reach that next level. Seeing people break through to that next level and seeing people succeed is a really, really good reward. And I love to hear about your successes. So in the comments below, please leave your next goal below and a time frame for you to achieve it by. Let us know what you want to achieve. And if you feel like quitting, come watch this video again and see what happens when you do persist through. So thanks for joining me on this episode of Suicide to Success, 10 lessons I learned from the brink of despair. Today we've gone over the power of persistence. So if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button, hit the subscribe, hit the bell notification and keep an eye out for my next video. And remember, never give up. Thanks guys, see you next time.